Hello, I'm Mark from creativefreelanceincome.com and if you're anything like me, then your desktop probably looks like this. Well, I've got a tutorial coming up to show you how to take all of this mess and arrange it into a really nice, organized desktop that's going to speed your Mac up too. So, I'll see you over there. Okay, so step one of this is to find ourselves a decent image uh, to use as the background picture. So go over to Firefox, go onto the internet, and then you're going to want to type in cgtextures.com. Head on over there, and there's an absolutely mountain of textures you can use uh, for your backgrounds. I'm going to use concrete that's my favorite, and I quite like the dirty concrete stuff that they've got. So I'm going to scroll down and like this kind of stuff here. So let's pick that one. So you need to log into an account, get a free account with them. There's a limited amount of downloads you can get. But once you've logged in, then you can download the large version of the image. So click that, download it to your desktop. Now we're going to head over to Photoshop. So we're in Photoshop now, and we need a new document. So File, New, and then these are the settings for my uh, MacBook Pro. So I've got a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So these are the pixel settings. So it's 1440 by 900. Okay, that. So now we've got the document set up. We need to find the texture that we've just downloaded. So file, open, navigate to where you find the dirty concrete and open that. Okay, so now we've got the concrete and our document. So with the concrete document open, go over to the layers palette press shift and drag and that will center the image on the new document we've created like that now you can see that it's a very big document um, it easily fills it that looks quite nice as it is but if we press apple t or command t you can see where how big the image is and we can just bring that down a little bit to there something like that I quite like it a bit bigger than that maybe there that looks fine to me double click that to place it okay so what we need to do now is a Add a bit of color and some blend into it. So create a new layer. Pick a nice color. I'm going to go for like this blue here. Okay, that. And then if you press Alt and Backspace, it will fill with that color. And now what you can do is play around with the blending options here where it says normal. If you play around so you can have multiply, which make it darker. And just go, that was quite nice, color burn. Now you don't want it too similar to your file colors. So we're going to add a bit more to it as well in a second. But let's have a look at what overlay is like. So overlay looks quite nice. I'm going to just play around now with this little bit. So image adjust, brightness, contrast. I'm just going to turn the brightness down on that just to add a bit more contrast in there. Something like that will do. Now what I want to do is here is where the um, titles of the sections that I'm going to put my files. So I want to put a gradient in there to make those titles stand out quite well. So I'm going to Create another layer. I'm going to put a gradient in. I'm going to go for a black to white gradient. I'm going to start just off the document like that. And then I'm going to press multiply there. So it's gone a bit darker. Image adjust. Right, I'm just going to turn the contrast up a touch. Like that. So we've got a nice dark thing there. I'm going to just change the size. Drag that down so it's darker a little bit further down. And okay that so next what we need to do is to divide this background into four sections that we're going to separate our files into so the way we do this is create a new layer we're going to make sure that the rulers are the guides are set to snap and then we're going to pull a guide from the rulers here and find the center of the document there so it snaps itself into place then what we're going to do is uh, Select the brush tool to start with, and we're going to make sure that we've got a hard brush, and it's set to about 10 pixels. It can be bigger or smaller, up to you, but I'm, I'm going to go for 10 pixels. Use the pen tool. I'm going to make sure we've got a white fill. I'm going to, going to click, press shift and click to keep a straight line, and then we're going to stroke the path there, and then we're just going to press the make selection just to, to, to take the selection off. And then what we can do is duplicate that layer, just nudge it over to the left a little bit, to see where we're at now we want to find the center so we can equally space them we want to find the center of this half of the document the easy way to do that is to select the rectangle marquee tool 
drag it into position it snaps to the guide straight away we can use the move tool and then the hor uh, to the center align and that aligns that one and then if we duplicate that layer again and we nudge it over to the right we can do exactly the same thing again use the rectangle marquee tool drag the space select the move tool and the center align and there we've got that so we can turn off the guides there and you can see that we've actually got the the document spaced out for you there so now we need a horizontal line to go in here and we need to put an extra little line in here so this box becomes a miscellaneous box so the way we do that is quite easy is we take this layer oops take this layer duplicate it by dragging dragging it onto the new document button command t we're going to turn that around like that press shift to keep it all straight Drag that over and nudge it into position like that. Apply that. And again, we can duplicate that layer again. Nudge it down here. To there. Duplicate it again. Nudge it into there like this. And then what we can do is just select those parts of it and delete and delete so we've got some sections there so all we need to do now is put in some uh, titles to go in there so a new layer select the text tool I'm going to keep mine white for now I've got it as Helvetica and we can put in some stuff there so it could be podcast just nudge that into position and then I'm going to duplicate that so that I've got the same settings everywhere podcast blog and then we've got the final one so we drag that over here double click and that can be miss for miscellaneous and there we've got the overall design so what we need to do now is file save as and we're going to save that as a JPEG I'm going to call it wallpaper and we're going to save that to the desktop. OK that. And we can close that for now. So what we need to do now is tidy up all of this mess. So what we do, go into your system preferences. Screen saver. And then we're going to add. Just there. We're going to go to our desktop. And we've named it wallpaper, so we should be down here somewhere choose that and it sets it for you as the desktop so you've got podcast blog artwork teaching now you can't quite see it so the easy way now to uh, to get all of those together is we're going to go into the finder we're going to go to desktop we're going to create a new new folder and we're going to create a dump file desktop dump like that and we're going to select everything from our desktop and we're going to drop it into the dump file like this drop that in there so now we've got everything in one folder which is nice so already we've cleaned that up to this which is cool and now what we can do is go into your desktop dump and we can take out uh, our files and put them into order and what I like to do is create aliases so I've created aliases that are connected to the uh, documents folder. So I can keep these folders on the desktop, but it's not going to affect my file size and my, my, my max uh, uh, capability. So we've got artwork there. We'll drop the artwork in. And we've got, let's see what else. We've got podcasts somewhere down here. So podcast aliases there. And then what all we have to do is let me just turn off the sort by none that's it so we've got podcasts artwork teaching and we've got our desktop dump so i'm going to put the desktop dump down here in the miscellaneous folder and then all we need to do is go through our files and decide which one they go into here so for instance these presets are for my podcast so we can drop those into that area and uh, we've got 
artwork here so we can put artwork in there and that kind of thing so you can then separate them all out into the areas that uh, they need to go so you you decide really where they go to creative or freelance income they can go on to there and then what we can do is go through each of these files separately and we can decide whether they go in here or in the trash and that is basically how you organize your desktop using a wallpaper background so that's how you tidy up all of your desktop mess using a wallpaper if you like the tutorial or you think there's anything else that i could do to improve it then leave me a comment in the section below and i'll see you in the next tutorial